What's up guys? Thanks for cruising back by the channel. So real quick today I got a pretty sweet one for you guys. I got my hands on the, uh, the Snap-on Triton D8. So I figure we'll give this thing a gander, run through it, check out some of the features. As someone like me, new to the intelligent diagnostics, you know, if you guys are looking for one, we'll see how easy it is to kind of navigate through it, some of the features and settings and all that stuff to it. But it seems pr like a pretty nice scanner, so let's dive down and check this thing out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So we got an up close view of it. Like I said, this thing's really similar to the Modus Edge. Um, same physical hardware buttons. You got your up, down, left, right. You know, uh, yes and no. You got your snap on record button or snapshot or quick menu button. You got your power button. It's got the rubberized protection all the way around. Up top, you got your uh, DLC connector. Looks like it comes with a little SD card slot up top with an SD card already installed. You got your uh, computer connected uh, USB. You got your test lead, your main test leads green and yellow with the ground and then the charging port in there. The bottom, nothing on the bottom so there's no charging dock for this thing or anything like that. You got a round back, got a nice kickstand it comes with. This thing's fully adjustable. Pretty much lay it down, you get all your angles. It's got a little rubberized bottom to it. And then off on the side here is where they house the battery. There's no trap, other trap doors or anything on the side. That's pretty much the unit. And then and then what comes in the case, you obviously got uh, your charger, you got the battery, hopefully that's installed already, and then you got your little kit, comes with the test leads, you know, your alligator clips, the probes and all that stuff. You got your USB connector to connect to the computer, and then the DLC connector, this one does have a flashlight on it, you just hit the button, pretty long cable, so definitely a nice kit. And then of course you got your uh, manual and all that stuff, warranty information in the back there, so pretty cool. But getting to the unit, this thing is Android base, so I'm expecting a super fast boot up here. It does boot up pretty quick, matter of a couple seconds actually. Hit the power button, and pretty much it's ready to, you know, as fast as you could plug it in, this thing will be ready to go. So, pretty basic, black and white, straight to the point here. You know, they set this thing up pretty much to get down to business, no fancy colors or anything like that. You got your uh, main scanner portion, this thing does do global. Of course, it's got the guided component test, which is great. Got your scope multimeter, because this thing does have a scope. You can use it for a DVOM. Your quick lookups. Um, I believe the quick looks up to find out oil reset and uh, you know tire TPMS reset and all that stuff. It's got your spec and service, show you how to do that on each particular car. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, previous vehicles, all your saved or it saves to the cloud, and then your tools menu change you, you know, the units of measurement and all that stuff. But getting over to the main function here. Go to scanner, we're going to hit up demonstration, pull up the, uh, the famous Tahoe demonstration mode, show you guys how this uh, intelligent diagnostic software looks. How, I like, really like how they lay it out. Um, let's see what we got here. And then obviously your normal man, you could do a full-blown vehicle scan, clear all the scans, and then it's got all your modules listed. We'll just go to engine here, pull up codes, it's got... It's got everything there too, so pretty much all the stuff you're used to seeing on these snap-on scanners, you know, any newer snap-on scanners, it's got pretty much troubleshooter, your generic function, function test, uh, you do bi-directional, you know, read and clear codes, your data display, so I thought that was pretty cool. Freeze frame it has, DTC status, we'll go to this, display DTC codes, here's your two codes, it pulls it up, and then you hit yes, and then it skins it with the, with the shop key. The Mitchell background here, which is pretty cool. It'll show you, uh, you know, the hits, known good hits, you know, what's pertaining to that code. So obviously replacing spark plugs at 125K, and then down the line, they kind of number it 579 hits, 284 hits, and all that stuff. So that stuff, obviously, you'll want to be paying close attention to, test that stuff, see what your issue is. Um, drop down, first thing you'll want to look for, obviously, diagnosing a car. Is there technical service bulletin? Is, are there, is there recalls on it? Campaign numbers? You know, things that might guide you into, uh, you know, getting a, a, a diagnostic faster, getting a quick fix faster. Um, you know, it pulls it up 
the things just pertaining to that particular TSB so you don't have to separately look it up but here's the stuff obviously on engine misfire PO 300 pretty cool got all the information in there on there for you go back out the next thing I really like is the smart data what this pretty much does is instead of getting yourself a custom PID list of uh, you know pertaining to a code you're, you're, you're working on or an issue you're having this pulls it for you so it pretty much sets up and what this does you put this on on a test drive when you're recording this thing actually records for you so say in this demonstration mode obviously you know RPMs are going up so we're driving it it automatically saves and it flags the the issue in red so obviously if cylinder number one was misfiring that would show in red these blue ones show you hey pay special close attention to here it goes saving so obviously it sees an issue, it sees the misfire on two, it went through a misfire cycle, and then it's going to go ahead and save the data for you. So you don't have to worry about trying to drive and watch the scanner at the same time. You can pay attention to the road and the scanner is pretty much going to do the work for you. Thought that was really cool. And then it pulling up just the PID list that matter to you when you're going to pull up instead of making a custom PID list. And also another cool thing about it is if you need to see more data, you could always go back and go through and make your additional, you know, put additional pins in there, PIDs in there if you like to. So if there's any more information you'd like to see on that code, you could throw that on there too. But they pretty much cover it from what I've seen. They cover what at least I'd like to see diagnosed in certain codes. I guess I'd have to see though. And then scrolling on down, brings you back to the skin shop key. Scrolling on down, it gives you a functional test and reset procedures having to do with that code. So obviously having a misfire, you'll want to do your cam crank variation, make sure that's programmed. You know, the, the ones that matter show up in the, in the bright white and then addition, anything additional you want to do always shows up underneath. So it still gives you the option, but the main one shows on the top, just gives you, gives you that direction. You know, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's starting to grow on me. Um, kind of, I, I really dig the way they set this up. They make it really user friendly. Um, you know, I got no gripes on it. You know, the, the recall, the recall, being able to get to the recalls without having to, you know, back out or go to a separate laptop and look them up. You know, it's, that's really great. You know, it's got your guided component test meter. So obviously when you're going to break out the lab scope, it's going to show you exactly where to test, where to hook up your leads. I thought that was pretty cool. So obviously the main one is going to be your ignition test. Obviously we're checking for a misfire. And then here's your component information. They got your primary and secondary test. So this is pretty cool. It actually shows you exactly what to test. It gives you your pinout on the sensor itself and on the, the ECU or whatever module you'll be working with. It can show you exactly where to put your test leads. Um, gives you a breakdown of exactly your, your harness view. You know, the same information that I get out of Pro Demand has it all right here in one at my fingertips. So it gives you the breakdown where the signal wire is, what to hook up to. Here's the harness side. Here's the PCM breakdown instead of going through the whole list of the PCM it shows you exactly the ones that pertaining to each driver on the the ECU which I thought was pretty cool uh, best test location so it's going to recommend to you you know where the best is to test it at um, you go back go to your primary test and then this this is actually a great feature to have so it loads up it loads up your scope and then it's going to show you exactly where to test here's your control signal hook it up to the known good ground shows you exactly what to do it gives you the range on it shows you the harness side again so you'll have your grounds hooked up you go to crank it or test drive it whatever you want to do after you get all that taken care of you'll get your signature on here and then it gives you a known good signature compared to right on the screen so I thought that's super slick um, actually like to drop it back and check the other code on this and then you'll have your frequency test your signature test all that stuff you could reference to I think it's really cool so here's the throttle position code. We got still two codes found in this drop down menu. You could always go back to that too. But same thing, it's going to give you your TSBs pertaining to that. I believe there's a recall on these Tahoes, these throttle bodies. So it's obviously going to show the campaign on that. Um, deal with that stuff all the time. Same thing, smart data. Same thing you go to, it's just going to pull up the PIDs list pertaining to the throttle body or anything throttle body related. So obviously RPMs. All that stuff is going to show up on here for you. They got, here's your flags, pay special close attention. There it goes, saving. Pretty cool stuff. But you go on through, you're on a test drive here. You go on through the one flagged in red. There it goes, saving for you. They're getting no voltage here. Really cool stuff here. Obviously here, here, your throttle position sensor is getting no voltage. So pretty cool stuff. Shows exactly what to pay extra close attention to.
you know where your issue is it's gonna beep for you so if you don't know the range of something you know it's gonna show it for you so instead of backing out saying hey was that in range or is that out of range it's gonna show it for you it's gonna flag it let you know it is out of range so you know check it out it might find it before you find it so I think it's pretty cool it's gonna make diagnostic real real super fast on it be able to diagnose these cars in no time these issues and then the same thing you got your functional test reset go to it it's going to show you exactly everything pertaining you know obviously you want to do a fuel term reset an idle relearn if you got throttle body issues it's going to show you everything to look for throttle position suite make sure you're getting full blade range and all that stuff normal stuff that you'd obviously test without it but it's telling you exactly what to do pretty much step by step where to start and then it's got your other other ones in here too if you want to do anything extra so it's still giving you that option to test the way you like but it's it's directing you on what to test first basically so you're not wasting time so here we go got in component tests for the throttle position it's going to give you the same thing component information which is pretty cool it's going to show you exactly what to test where to test it at where to back probe it it's going to show you all the pin out pin outs on the connectors where what's best test location on it where to test it best um, you got your DC voltage test it's going to load up the scope for you and then it'll show you exactly what to do where to put your leads out of range test key on engine off voltage should be near 5 volts Let's see, go on down, connector view again. Some of the information is obviously repetitive. Um, bring the drop down menu, go to throttle code, yes. It's gonna pull, pull up everything again, scroll down back down. So we checked, we checked for technical service bulletins and recalls and things like that. We went on our test drive, got all the pits, seeing what was out of range, not out of range, what to check for. We got our retest test procedures, making sure you know the sensors work, the motors work, the actuators work, and all that stuff. After that, we scoped them, and then it brings you down to SureTrack, giving you real-time fixes. You know what worked for us mechanics, the stuff, that, you know, information that Snap-on has gathered and put this in there. You can see there's 271 fixes on it, you know, exactly pertaining to this PO121 code. So that's pretty cool. It gives you all the information what the correction was and all that stuff and then of course it's going to give you related fixes too. all the information on that you go to that menu and it's going to bring all that up for you so having it all here in one you know the, the way i've been doing it obviously you know i feel like a caveman at this point but definitely thinking about getting this thing definitely some great information here what a powerful tool for being a mid-level scanner scan tool i mean hats off to snap on for this for this uh you know sure track this mitchell overlay that they do you know this uh themed version of mitchell on here built in on these android based uh snap on tablets i i really dig them i i mean the more i mess around with them the more it the more it's great it also got the tips the industry expert tips and tricks how to you know what to show what to do for how to reset and all that stuff it's i mean it's uh you know i can't complain but i'm gonna wrap this one up guys quick hands on quick review of the triton d8 you know, my thoughts on it, you know, for a mid-level entry scan tool, you know, entry tech scan tool, someone that has, needs all the information all in one, you know, it's a great scanner. I mean, you guys are looking into this, talk to your Snap-on rep about it. You know, I, I think they run about six grand or so, unless you have trade-in, and then you gotta, you gotta pay for the subscription, you know, the SureTrack subscription each year. But for what it is, you know, it's pretty great. You got your two-channel lab scope on here. You know, you know, are there more powerful lab scopes out there? Yeah, but does it have all the information all at your fingertips? No, I mean, it's, you know, yeah, there might be more sensitive lab scopes out there, but to get the known good signatures on the screen, like I showed you guys, you know, having all the information in one place, you know, there's nothing that could compare. It's, it's these, these Snap-on technology, the software they're putting in these scanners, I mean, it blows my mind. You know, these updates are having pretty great scanners. You know, tried and true, snap-on scanner, snap-on diagnostic, you know, it's the way to go. Definitely, definitely guide you through what you need to look at, you know, diagnosing these cars, the issue at hand, the information's all in the scanner for you. There's no sense of Googling it and jumping on Mitchell, all, all data, identifix and all that, trying to piece everything together, printing paperwork and all that stuff. It's all with you while you're working on the car. You never have to leave the vehicle. So, I mean, for that, two thumbs up, you know. But that's about it, guys. Wrap this up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.